Hey guys, it's NAK, the Hazina Girl, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about something really exciting, which is the fact that the other day, I was checking the mail and I got this right here. Ooh. This is Bunka's brand new pamphlet for the year 2022. So if you guys are actually interested in applying to go to Bunka next year, uh, you please just, I beg of you, all you gotta do is go online. I think there's like a little survey you gotta fill out and then you can receive one of these. But the cool thing about this and the reason why I wanted to make an entire video about this is the fact that I'm actually featured in this thing right here, guys. Isn't that awesome? Um, I'm excited because I have not seen the photos yet, but a little while ago I actually got invited by the school to do a little photo shoot so I made my way down to Omotesando there was a studio that the school had rented out and we did a full-on photo shoot and let me just insert some little clips so you guys can see what it looked like So uh, I just finished jumping on the trampoline and whoa, that was wild. Can I just say that I did not expect to jump that high. Also, I haven't jumped on anything or jumped at all probably since I was like cheerleading back in high school. So that brought back memories. But um, yeah, apparently that's it for this outfit. Um, I'm gonna change out of this and change it to something else and then do probably I guess a second shot on the trampoline again I'm not sure but whew, that was exhilarating. That was really fun I mean, Can you guys see all the little like gold details and it's all like bejeweled and it's got crazy fur And my hair is full of foil which is wild And of course the shoes are all crazy This is the final look kids so on the day of, it was wild. We took a bunch of different photos. One of them was on a trampoline. The other one was me wearing this crazy fit. It was like a suit with a bunch of like feathers and it was wild. I felt like I was like some kind of 70s disco Elton John type like celebrity. It was wild. It was such a fun shoot. And it felt nice to do that as a way to kind of say goodbye to Bunka because as you guys know, I just graduated back in March. So it was like a nice little goodbye. It was like a nice little, you know, sayonara, bye Bunga, thank you for everything you've done for me type of thing. So yeah, but now I'm really excited to see what the photos actually turned out like. So let's open this thing. Ah, I'm so excited. So in the corner here, I have this little light um, and it also has my phone on it because I'm going to be filming from up top, but it's because I want to show you guys the full splendor of this right here. I'm so excited to open it. I'm very curious to know which photos they used. I'm just going to cut it from the side and see. What's inside? Oh, I'm so excited. I can already tell from the photos on the, on the cover that it's going to be really good because um, like I mentioned earlier, these were actually taken on a trampoline. So um, yeah, all the photos are basically of us like mid-air. So I can already tell just by these like front photos that it's going to be so good. Uh, yes! Oh, here it is. I feel some paper back here. I don't know what this is. So this little paper right here basically says that they're planning to post a video where they show the behind the scenes. And this is true. I actually remember there was like a full on videographer and somebody who was like shooting us the entire time while we were taking these photos. So when that video comes out, I'll definitely make sure to link that in the description for you guys. But that's super cool, right? I'm excited for you guys to see what the entire process was like because it was a lot of fun. But anyways, okay, let's just get right into it. Let's open it up, Andy, because I'm just so excited. I can't contain myself right now. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, look! There I am. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but ooh, there she is, your homegirl on the front page. This is so funny because this video, this photo is so blurry. And actually, I realized that technically that means that I'm like on this front spread. You guys see that? It's like, I guess it's supposed to be like, 
openable i don't even know um but the cool thing is they have the description of all the different courses on the side here which again if you guys are interested in knowing what courses are available at bunka you can definitely go check out my video where i talk about tuition at bunka i also break down all the courses available um but yeah this is super cool they have this full-on list and then they have me look at this photo that they picked of me though this is incredibly blurry is it just me this is so blurry what the heck like bruh <laughs> <laughs> this is wild why did they pick this photo it's such a mess you can barely even tell that it's me wait hold on you know what i'm curious about now i'm curious to know ah yes it is a full full spread it goes all the way to the back of all of us so this is all the kids that they picked out for this shoot and also fun fact um this right here this little outfit right here that i'm wearing this is not my outfit. Um, they, they actually hired a stylist to put us in clothes for this entire shoot. So this was not a fit of my own personal choosing. I liked this red top. I remember that. That was a really cool top. These shoes, though, not really my style, to be honest. Um, but it was a cool, like, yellow, like, flowy top that I had. And I wish they would have shown more of it, but they completely cut it off because it's just, like, the center part, I guess, that they wanted. But, yeah. Interesting. All right, let's move on. On the front page, ooh, we got somebody fashionable right here. Ooh, and they even have like, I guess these video, like, what is this? Oh, this is footage of us getting our hair and makeup done. So I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a little hard to tell. It's kind of like on the side, but you guys see that? I think I'm at the bottom corner right here. That's me getting my makeup done. That was a lot of fun. The look they did for me was crazy. It was so dark. And then this is another photo as well from behind the scenes. I'm so excited to see this behind the scenes video. I feel like it's gonna be really cool to see just like what the process was like for everyone. But yeah, ooh, and I see another one of me. Ah, nice. So this is me, this is me, and this is me right here. Oh, and me, right here. There we go. Wow, there's like a few of them. All right, I'm excited. Okay, let's move on. I'm excited to see more photos. This was, this is a super cool look. I love this. I guess they have like a little quote here that says, don't be restricted by the rules, follow your instinct. There's more than one answer. Ooh, I like that, a little motivational quote. Ooh, and then these were like our little solo portraits that they took of us, kind of like, it kind of looks like, um, what is it that you have back in the day? Like, it kind of looks like, uh, like photo, what is it called, photo day at school? But I, I really liked this concept because basically it's kind of like picture day where everyone kind of gets dressed up and then like takes their photos and their crazy outfits. I just wish they would have let us wear like our own outfits because I remember the outfit that I wore is not something that I would wear typically. Um, but I think it was still like a really fun experiment. It was, it's cool to see them all lined up like this because they look like a real like photo day, like school, what do you call those? Um, what are they called again? Yearbooks, there we go. Yeah, yearbooks. It looks like a cool yearbook layout. All right, moving on. Ooh, we got this cute little, this cute little outfit on the rooftop of the school, that's fun. Ooh, this is fun, this is super cool. This look was actually also created by somebody at school, which is wild. It's so crazy because what they did is they really featured students' work in this pamphlet, which is super fun and really nice. I'm glad they did that. And then, ah! There I am, this is me, folks. Oh my gosh, that is wild. This photo turned out so good. Uh, oh my goodness, this is amazing. It says, positive mind, positive action. That's super cool. I'm not gonna read the Japanese because if I mess up the kanji, I know y'all will come for me in the comments, so I will not. But I like that they included some English quotes and they have some like extra photos. Oh, and look, I found myself down here. Can you guys see that? This is also me, but with my face cropped off. That's fun. <laughs> this is actually the outfit that I was talking about, by the way, so it's fun that they have other photos of it. But oh my gosh, can we just take a moment to say that this photo turned out amazing? They literally shot it like in the dark and they had like a massive flash come on when the camera was taken or when the shot was taken. So it just looks amazing. And actually, no, it wasn't shot in the dark. It was just shot in like the room. But I think when the flash came on, it was just so bright that everything else was dark, which, oh, it looks amazing. I'm obsessed. I hope there's more photos of these because they are just so good. Oh, amazing. That hair also took forever, by the way, this hair. They literally had to stick little pieces of silver aluminum foil all over my entire head and it was it was a process to say the least okay it was a lot of hair washing after that um but it turned out so good and it was so worth it wow amazing all right let's keep looking oh look there i am again jumping in my little 
my, my little yellow outfit. <laughs> I like that outfit, honestly. It was fun. It was it was a cool look to wear while jumping around in the air. Oh, this is cool. This is amazing. I love that they featured a bunch of different people. I think from here on out, it just kind of features, um, you know, different looks that were worn at the fashion show and things like that. So fun. I just love this. This is amazing. I think what I like the most about this, to be honest, is that it looks like it's like a full on magazine editorial. You know what I mean? Is it just me? Like, this is like a proper full on production that they did here. Wow, Vinka. I'm impressed. This is really great. Oh, and look at that. I'm actually featured in it again. This was specifically for the, um, the Toile Contesto, which Toile is literally like French or like Toile because it's made from, um, in Japanese, or at least at Bunka, they call it Shichingu, which is not the right word, but it's made from like, what's that word again? Oh gosh. Bunka's got me so messed up that I literally don't even know what the words for fabrics are in, Jap or in English. I only know them in Japanese. Um, but basically it's like the material you use for making like your drafts normally, um, but they wanted everybody to make it of the same material and like essentially the whole premise of the contest is that they needed to recreate this look that was sketched on paper and they've included it here in the corner and everybody had to make their own representation of this look um, and they've done it in previous years before i think this is the one from last year and then this year this was the look that they came up with and if you guys can see right here i'm actually right in the middle uh, and i was featured in this contest it was crazy we had to just stand there like little statues stiff statues for like a good 10 minutes while teachers walked by us and then judged our outfits that was crazy it was such a wild experience for me because i was like whoa this feels surreal right now okay and also it was kind of cool to be like literally the only black girl in the room because um i kind of already stood out in that sense like uh which is cool i think that's probably why the girl who picked me picked me to be her model because she's like i want somebody who's gonna stand out and hey kudos to you girl and if you're watching this thank you for picking me but yeah that was such a fun experience and i think there's a video somewhere on like bunka's instagram that actually showcases the looks from more like close up so if you guys are interested in seeing that um i'll see if i can find it and maybe insert it here or if not then i'll just link it in the description so cool wow who would have known all righty cool cool we've got some more looks right here i'm guessing this is just giving more information about like what the courses are like this is fun because honestly, I wish I would have gotten a copy of this when I was actually like signing up for Bunka because I don't think I really read any of these pamphlets to be honest when I was uh, when I was applying, <laughs> which is not a good thing. I probably should have. But also, I think I didn't have any confidence in my Japanese ability. But then I'm looking at it and like they've got some English on here, you know, so it's not that bad, I guess. Pretty good. Aha, uh -huh. now see this right here is the description of all of the courses. This is what I made an entire video about back um, a while back. If you guys want to know all about the different courses at Bunka, which courses are available to you, how many years you got to study and all that, um, there's an English version on Bunka's website. And if not, you guys can go check out my video where I talk about tuition and I also do like a little breakdown of what courses are available. So yeah, this is cool. I'm glad that they have this all nicely laid out and explained in Japanese. And I guess from here it kind of goes into the full breakdown of you know each course all the details of what exactly you have to study this is really well done because i think it's super easy for people to understand like oh, okay so this is what i would study if i did like the fashion creation technique course or whatever um and it even gives you a little example of like what your schedule will look like and then it even shows one of the students work which is super cool that's fun and then here we've got the fashion technology department this is really cool They've got a few students' works. So again, another schedule and some photos. This is really well done. I wish that they had an English version of this because I feel like this would have been so helpful for so many foreign students out there who, you know, want to come to Japan and study this as well. But I know that Bunka, it's like they kind of do it on purpose. Like I think that they actually don't make English versions of these because they want you to come to Japan, learn Japanese first, and then be able to like read these things. So they, they, you know, they don't have to worry about making translations. They can just get you to study Japanese. Um, but then, oh, what do we got here? We've got fashion marketing and distribution department. This is a really, really popular one at Bunka. A lot of people love this one. 
Um, oh, and this girl, I actually recognize her. Her name is Sakura. She was actually featured in a Drop Tokyo video that I did back back in the day as well. Um, but it was super cool. I wish I would have gotten the chance to like meet her, but she was in a completely different department as me, and she was also in a completely different building. So unfortunately, I never got around to actually like talking to her and stuff. But yeah, this is super cool to see like everybody at work. See, you've got like the stylist course where they actually take the time to style students, things like that. And then here we've got fashion advertising where I think, or fashion advising is what they called it. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that this was a course. Shop stylist course. Oh, interesting. I think this is for people who want to work at stores. They actually give you like students notes. That's so cute. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, this is cool. There's also retail planning. I love that they show you what like what the work of a student in this course looks like because I think this is what a lot of people are curious to know like what exactly will I be doing when I take this course and I myself don't have all the answers because I only took textile design you know what I mean and I had friends who took other courses but I, I have no clue what all these courses entail so I'm glad that this is you know this is a cool one. Oh, and this is the um, fashion model uh, course. This is so cool because guess what? This girl right here who is in this photo, she actually was my model for my graduation show. If you guys didn't know that, um, I'll see if I can upload the full graduation show vlog, but she was actually in my show. So it's super cool to see a photo of her because she looks amazing, girl. And she specifically took a course to learn more about what it's like to be a model in the industry, which is super cool that you can even do that. I feel like most fashion schools would never, they would never have a course on like, modeling specifically but Bunka does so good to know next up we've got fashion makeup now this is so cool this is awesome these are all the things you can do if you take the um what are they called again let me see i don't want to mess up the name if you take the foundations of styling and distribution so if you choose this specific course right here you can actually go into like different specialties and yeah makeup is one of them Super cool, right? Modeling is also another. All right, next up we've got fashion marketing and distribution. The advanced course, this is again one of their four year courses like I mentioned in my last video. Um, and yeah, this is some of their work. They do cool photo shoots and they do like full on productions. I think they also do like shows and things like that as well, which is nice. Um, yay, and then now we've got fashion accessories in the textile department. Hey, this is my favorite department, obviously, because this is where I studied. Um, oh, and this is actually, oh my gosh, get out. This is one of the guys who graduated at the same time as me. This is his work. He actually made this entire thing and all of the different like patterns that he used, all the different textiles, the different prints, the different fabrics, they're all showcased in this, which is so cool. Um, and then of course this is our senpai that graduated last year and then this is different people I think doing things like weaving, printing, dyeing. This is all the stuff you get to do if you become a textile design student. I've been that. So fun. Oh, this is nice. And then of course hat making. If you guys didn't know, you can actually learn hat making at Binka, which is awesome. Um, yeah, and then what else we've got here? Oh, jewelry design as well, which is super cool. They've got tons of students working on different projects. They do like super cool headpieces. Like look at that, isn't that crazy? That is like a full on headpiece right there, made out of metal, it's so cool. And then of course they've got bag design. We actually were right next to the bag design course and so we often heard them like working on their machines, which is always crazy, but yeah. And then here we've got, as you guys can tell, this is cool. This is a sushi bag. That is such a fun idea. <laughs> what a fun idea, that's so cool. But yeah, so you got a little sushi bag right there and then they show you what the students work on and what their schedule kind of looks like, which is nice. And then of course footwear design, which is again, another course that I think is just so awesome. If you want to specifically study how to make shoes, you can study that here and that's just amazing. So cool. And then next up, we've got fashion accessories in the advanced course, um, which I think is like a little mix of both or everything. Like you get to make bags, shoes, and um, jewelry as well. I didn't even know this was a course as well, but I guess they added this as of this year, so. Fun, fun, fun stuff. And then last but not least, you've got the fashion creation, fashion marketing, and distribution department, which I think this is specifically for night classes. Yeah, this is for night classes, which if you're a foreign student, you're actually not eligible for night classes, unfortunately, because um, they do not offer visas for night classes. But I mean, I think it's still cool to see that you can do this. Um, I think I actually met somebody once who was taking the night classes and she was Polish. And I'm not quite sure how she got a visa to do that, to be honest, because I don't think that it's possible necessarily um, to get a visa for it. But I think she said there was a way. I don't know. I'd have to ask her to find out. But 
that'd be cool. All right, next up we've got career. Ooh, nice, they've got career support. I know a lot of you guys are often asking me, Sana, what are you planning to do now that you've graduated? And I'm gonna make an entire video where I talk about that, but you should know that um, Binka does offer career support. They have a whole center where you can actually look up like forms that look like this, where people explain what they did at their interview. They even have like photos of, or like sketches of themselves and what they wore to their interview because obviously in Japan if you're interviewing for like a fashion related job they don't want you to just come wearing like a suit most of the times like most of the times they actually want to see what your real style is so they don't mind you coming wearing like a little funky little you know outfit or whatever but obviously you still want to know like what's okay and what's not okay so they have a whole booklet in the career center where you can read and see what people wore what they said what kind of questions they were asked that kind of stuff so it's very helpful and then yeah i guess this is they're just telling you like the different jobs that you can get in you know the fashion industry you can do their selling job a telling job a making job style i think is more like stylist you know fashion promoter whatever uh photographer or you can do like selling or you can do making that kind of stuff i like that they've kind of listed it out like this um because it's true in japan it's very specific like the kind of industries you can go into are very very specific so yeah, that's kind of cool. And then here we've got, I guess like people talking about, I don't know, what is this, their grades? Or what they studied? I'm not quite sure what this page is about. Pretty cool to see. I think this is just like personal interviews of students who took the courses. I'm curious to see if there's any textile design students on here. Oh yeah, look at that. This girl actually went to my class. That's kind of cool. And then this is, oh, employment for the past three years. So I guess they have a full list of students and where they have worked at for the past three years. I should probably take the time to read this because I'm curious as well. Um, and I'm, if you guys didn't know, I'm still in the process of job hunting. Um, so I definitely will be interested in seeing where people are working because that's kind of cool. Alrighty, and then here, oh nice, so they have like a full on map of what the school looks like, this is super cool. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, this is the main building, like most of the times when you see like pictures of Bunga or like events at Bunga, it's either in this main building right here or in this building right here, which is where they throw like the fashion shows and things like that. Um, like see this photo right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this photo in the corner here was taken in this building here. And then the photo at the top here of like the rooftop view, I don't know if you guys can see that, that was taken in the middle of this building right here. So um, yeah, those are the places that are like famous, famous at Bunka. Um, but the truth is like, um, personally for me, I was studying in the E building, so like back here, um, which is completely separated from the rest of the school, which is kind of sad sometimes because it's like you want to be where the action's at, but you're like out in the old building. Um, and we have like a really dingy elevator that's kind of broken and like, kind of sad but it's fine you know it's cool it was a fun experience regardless and of course we could still wander around the school freely as we pleased so it was not that big of a deal um and then there's also the j building which a lot of people don't know about this is where the knit students actually study so if you specialize in um like knit garments um uh, this is where you'll be studying as well and then of course there's the library which is probably the place that i spent the most amount of time when i was at Binka. that is also at the basement floor of the f building so yeah this is great i'm really glad that they included the map as well because i think a lot of you guys probably are curious about this kind of stuff and like i said if even if you guys don't speak any japanese honestly i feel like this is worth picking up because you can actually find out a few things just by looking at photos you know because um yeah the photos can be informative and if you're already studying japanese then it can be a great way for you to learn a little bit more learn some vocabulary maybe and pick up on certain words and yeah and i think these are some more photos of school events oh i remember this they used to do this and now they can't anymore because of corona same thing with communication camp as well they don't do that anymore but yeah fun times oh and look at that there i am again <laughs> They really featured me as much as they possibly could in this thing. <laughs> I feel like I should have asked for a paycheck, honestly. Um, but this is cool. I'm really glad they, they included me. This is like, um, I guess, wh what am I even saying in this? This is... They, okay, wow. First of all, this is very paraphrasing because I don't recall ever saying it in this specific wording. They definitely took my words and made their own little paragraph here. But yes, it does talk about like just me wanting to study fashion and that's why I came to Bunka and um, how like the school has like very special like courses and whatnot. And then it says here at the top, Tiki style no kaisha o. 
Oh, I don't know how to read this kanji. Something go suru koto ga watashi no yume. And it's like, I would like to work at a textile company, which is true. I still would like to work at a company. That's still my dream. But I、um, haven't really made that happen yet. So let's hope that that becomes a reality、uh, soon enough. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. And if you guys want to see more videos about me, my life in Japan, you know, what I'm up to, definitely make sure to click the subscribe button. And I just want to say thank you. Honestly, you guys have been there since day one. You guys have seen me from the moment I said I wanted to come to Buka back in like, what is it, 2015. Pretty much, I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you guys that I am completely in love with this school. Spending the day here has made me want to study here so much. All the way up until now that I've graduated. And、I'm officially in the pamphlet. It's just wild to me because I feel like everything just comes so full circle. And so I want to thank you guys because you guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all your love and support. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye!